day. My name's Hugh Reed, and I'm the president and CEO of PassYourBar.com, or Reed Law Group. I wanted to take a few moments to go over with you some recent changes on the multi-state bar exam, a little bit on how to hedge your bets, or strategies and tactics on how to be successful on this examination, and finally how we can help you prepare for this most important examination. You see, I don't just talk about the multi-state bar exam. I take it virtually every time it's given. I uh, represent U.S. servicemen and women around the world in a multi-jurisdictional law practice, and every six months I take the bar exam, and that is very important to you. I've been in the bar review business about 30 years, and while there are other people out there who talk about the exam, uh, none that I know of, uh, whom I know of, are actually taking the examination, including uh, the multi-state lecturers from the largest traditional bar review, which a lot of people are finding out isn't really helping them on this multi-state bar exam. You see a lot of these law professors obviously know a lot about their subjects. Uh, they've written horn books and such, but they really don't know how it's applied or how it's tested. You can go to lawschool.com, for example, and get some feel for what more and more students are starting to understand about how to get ready for this exam and how traditional bar review lecturers who do not take the exam on a regular basis really aren't that helpful. All right, what else do you need to know about us? Well, you need to know that I'm a retired Army Colonel and my last duty assignment, I was in charge of pilot training for the Army. Now, why is that important to you? Well, I'll tell you why. Because pilots learn their emergency procedures much like you need to learn how to behave during this timed and crucial examination. In other words, how to perform properly under anxiety conditions. And we can do that. We can tell you uh, how to behave on this exam because we use mnemonics, uh, uh, acrostics, a a checklists, and the like so that you, under anxiety conditions, are perfectly aware of where you are and what you need to do. Now, that is very, very important. And a lot of folks who do not take the exam on a regular basis just can't teach you that. Now let me first start out by giving you the most recent changes on the multi-state bar exam, and then I'll talk a little bit about strategies and tactics, and finally how we can help you. The multi-state bar exam, as most of you know, are, is uh, comprised of 200 multiple choice questions with four answer choices. 200. 100 questions in the morning, 100 in the afternoon, you get a roughly three hours uh, for, not roughly, exactly three hours for 100 questions each. That means roughly 1.7 or 1.8 minutes per question. And most candidates of the 75,000 candidates who take this examination every year score about 125 right out of 200. And though, to those points, the multi-state uh, bar examiners add a number of points to scale the score. In fact, in July 2008, it was the highest scaled score ever recorded, 145.6. And what the examiners try to do, they try to scale this examination so that it's roughly equivalent in score going all the way back to 1972. The examination is a tough exam, and most jurisdictions do a cost-benefit analysis. That is, they analyze what the score on the multi-state bar exam first, and then because a study published by the National Conference of Bar Examiners that says that students will do approximately as well as the, on the written part as they do on the multi-state bar exam, most examiners will use this examination score as an early item analysis as to whether or not you're going to pass or you're going to fail your bar examination. So that's how important it is, even in jurisdictions where it's worth only 40% of the total score or 35% of the total score, as is the case in California. Most jurisdictions use this exam score as half of your examination score. Now, what are some of these recent changes? Well, we know that the bar examiners recently changed the makeup of this exam. That is, only 190 points will count out of 200 towards your score, 190 points. Ten of those questions will be experimental questions, much like on the multi-state professional responsibility examination, where ten questions are experimental questions. That is, you're the guinea pigs for this particular examination. The questions have become more concise. 
we have gotten rid of tier type questions. That is multiple choice questions that have Roman one, two, three, four tiers, and then you choose the best analysis, also called K type questions, or the best combination of those questions. Gotten rid of those. The exam often uh, used to have a lot of quotes. It doesn't have any quotes anymore. In, in other words, most of the questions, uh, uh, the, the exam questions avoid quotes. The language and the options are parallel. That is, the, uh, uh, of the five type of questions, historically, that were tested on the multi-state bar exam, we now have parallel, um, uh, parallel options that demand that the applicant compare and choose between similar elements. The five type of questions, by the way, are best of the lot, the best of four bad alternatives, worst of the lot, the worst of four alternatives, dichotomy questions, two answer choices choosing one way, two answer choices choosing another, squib questions, short uh, fact patterns or cases where you have to analogize and choose uh, fact patterns that fit closest, and then tier type questions, the ones I just mentioned. The tier type questions and the squibs have been now reduced, or on the last exam, I did not see any. Now, I'm legally and ethically bound not to release questions from past exams. However, our students are uh, privy to the outline that's published to the National Conference of Bar Examiners, and we prepare questions that are very realistic that have tested on recent issues on this examination. So the best way to get ready for the multi-state bar exam for you, now we're talking about strategies and tactics, is to study with someone who actually takes the exam on a regular basis. You see, uh, there are many well-meaning people out there who've either never taken the exam, i.e. most of the multi-state lecturers for the largest traditional bar review, where I used to work for about 16 years, by the way, or uh, some people who've taken the exam maybe years ago, and they, they're not aware of these changes, and they don't experience these changes. The largest supplemental multi-state bar review, um, unfortunately for test takers, the principals were caught stealing questions. Those were really good questions, but that's legally and ethically um, not feasible for us, or not, <laughs> we just can't do that. And by the way, that bar review had to be sold to another test uh, uh, taking um, uh, preparation company because they were fined $12 million by a federal judge. So, um, examination questions have changed. You're not going to see all, all of the above or none of the above. A monkey with a banana. If you would just choose A, B, C, D, would get 50 questions correct out of 200. They only ask law graduates to do twice as well. That is, get about 120, 125 correct, and that will get you over the top. A lot of candidates have difficulty with this exam. So let me tell you how you should prepare for this examination. First of all, you should follow the outline. Our outlines follow the National Conference of Bar Examiners outline. And we have one-on-one -on -one tutoring, the highest pass rate for any graduates, for any review course in the country. One-on-one -on -one tutoring. I personally teach that, along with a couple of attorney coaches who have scored in the top one percentile on the multi-state bar exam. And it's a virtual lock. It's 100% pass rates in some law schools. We also have guided bar study. Guided bar study, that is, you get an, a, an attorney coach who's dedicated to you. We have a complete online bar review complete online bar review for less than a thousand dollars or we have a bar review on an iPod where you get all the printed materials and you study when you want. So if we can help you please go to readlawgroup.com or passyourbar.com or call us at 800-852-3926. Thank you.